So I found a ridiculous deal on some Beachworks 550cc injectors for the EG33 and I jumped on it because I wasn't sure how long that deal would last and when the box arrived it was kind of questionable. So the first thing I noticed is that the box they showed up in kind of was already opened and somebody had essentially retaped the box. So. Um, the first thought was maybe that meant that these injectors were a return, um, which that was kind of the best case scenario I think for me once I saw that the packaging was open. So from there um, I started to wonder, you know, are these actually, you know, what they say they are because the price was so reasonable that um, essentially I couldn't say no. So um, when they showed up, I started to question that and I guess I can tell you what I went through to determine that these are actually um, these are actually authentic Beachworks 550 cc injectors and so the first thing that you can look for is if they come with the flow data from Beachworks and in my case they obviously did and the next thing that wasn't that obvious to me and it might not be to you if you haven't looked at these charts before um, but basically it says injector number on here and well they seem like they're just a bunch of random numbers you know 7, 10, 24, 28, 33, 44 you know what the heck does that mean and if you're not familiar with them you wouldn't know like I didn't but if you look close you can see the numbers actually basically like engraved on the back of the injector and one of the injectors was outside of this little plastic bag that uh, there's basically three slots, two of them came in each one, but one of them was open and one injector was out. So that would mean that, to me, that all of the injectors that were in the packaging hadn't been opened except for that one. And so they all had the appropriate numbers on them, I noticed, and even the one that was outside of the original packaging had the correct number on it. So that's still a little suspicious, but it has potential for them being what they say they are and so I'm comfortable with saying that if all of those numbers match and even the one that was outside of the packaging these are you know legitimate Beachworks injectors so you can't really tell just by looking at them if they're maybe a knockoff or something and I've heard that some of the knockoff injectors are really poor quality and compared to what you get from a quality brand like Beachworks that's not something I was looking for. Um, so, from there, I gotta think, if this was a return, why were these injectors returned? And so the first thing that comes to mind is, well, maybe they didn't work. And I can show you now a couple of different ways to find out if they do work. So, what I did to find out if these injectors work is, first thing I did is take my digital multimeter here, set it on ohms for checking the resistance and then just basically plugged tested all the um, all the leads to measure the resistance across the injector in this case I found out all my injectors have 11 ohms there's not um, you know some really weird number in any of those they're all consistent so that's a good sign if you get a really weird number maybe somebody you know fried one of them or one of them was bad maybe that's why it was returned and then it was suggested to me to put a 9 volt battery on one of these injectors and or actually all of them and test basically to see if they click when you apply uh, power to all of them and so that's what I did I took my alligator clips clipped them on here and then clipped the other ends onto this 9 volt here and every single one of them you can hear it click That for me is enough to say that these injectors are good and they were just a return. Somebody realized that they weren't going to work for their application. So that's why I think I got a pretty good deal on them and 
hopefully that information helps you um, if you ever find yourself trying to debug an injector issue or maybe you're just pulling your injectors out and you're trying to see if they're good or not um, but yep this was time sensitive because I could have returned them in a time window which I don't know if my car will be running in that time window to actually test them in the car so this was just a quick way of bench testing your fuel injectors